Hello, my soccer nerds. For another collection video, we're still in an international break, so we are looking at another international jersey. I decided to look at this Hungary jersey from the past Euros, Euro 2020-21. It was released uh, around that time. And before we look at the jersey in detail, um, honestly, there are just a few details that we have had to look at. It's, of course, interesting how this uh, jersey ended up being in my collection. So far, it's my only Hungary jersey. And it's kind of curious because Hungary is a neighboring country of Austria. And it has, as we said, while recently maybe Germany uh, creates more headlines when Austria is playing Germany, Hungary is the true... Uh, old opponent the main opponent it's kind of uh england scotland england might meanwhile look at to, into other nations but uh, scotland is the uh, true opponent the same thing goes for hungary with austria uh it's just so much history and i think it's still the most played international that's not from the uh, uh among the home nations uh, probably outside of uruguay and argentina something like, like that so hungary has been the arch enemy if you will, would like although i think uh it has not been played since euro 2016 and that's a result that still hurts very 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 much around here but yeah uh, i never had that uh, qualms with hungary um i just knew that for euro 2020 i would like to have a jersey from each of the teams that are present in the competition and i remember uh, looking around christmas 2019 how many, I mean, I've bought quite, quite a few countries. How many are missing? I think I came around six or seven. So it seemed doable to me. And Hungary was one of them. And interesting enough, I had obviously been looking up until point to get potentially a Hungary jersey, but it was never that easy. Second hand market, you find nothing, which to me is staggering because, you know, neighboring country. But then same thing is almost true for the Czech Republic. But I see a few more Czech jerseys and I find, uh, find Hungarian jerseys. Definitely has to do the Czechs have been doing much better than the Hungarians uh, over the past two, uh, three decades. That also has to be said and probably plays a big factor there. Uh, so the only other options that I had, you know, go on like classic foot football shirts, but most of the jerseys you find uh, are kind of a little bit old, uh, older. Uh, vintage jerseys, most of them match issued slash match worn, so kind of expensive. Go on eBay also rather expensive so i very quickly knew that yeah i will have to get probably the most recently uh, recent one the one released for the tournament and that will be the one jersey that i will get for that tournament i think hungary might have even been the last team that i added in um i was prepared to pay a little bit more because i knew this will be a difficult one um but in the end i didn't have to pay full price which is kind of my minimum condition and I found this one at a local online store called Geomix and they were selling it for 60 and I said okay yeah it's maybe not as much as uh, uh, much more than I probably would have wanted by to pay but it's a brand new jersey and it's a really nice one and yeah they were selling it let's go for it um was also curious that it arrived on the same day that I got a Germany jersey and you know Germany Hungary also they're going back to 1954 I mean we all know that Hungary should have probably won that World Cup, but that's where the German story starts in a way, although I'm pretty sure that Germany sooner or later would have won the World Cup anyway. But with all that pre-story, uh, rather non-exciting in terms of, but you know, it shows you that certain nations are really hard to come by and you have to sometimes be a little bit resourceful or just say, okay, I have to pay more to get one. But with all that behind us, let's look a little bit closer at this admittedly really nice looking shirt so here we are with the hungary home jersey from 2020 20 to 21 uh it is from this adidas template they came out that they have like all these uh graphics in there now they tried to sell us that the graphic on the back this is the waves of the danube running through the hungarian countryside <sighs> take it all at once i mean i can see there's a wavy pattern in there if you like um i just think they came up with a nice template but actually i think it adds to the appeal of the jersey what also adds to to the appeal is that you know we have red white and then we have green there so there's a hungarian flag i do wish though that the green was a little bit whiter so we have a proper flag color you could have also done that here on the sleeve cuffs, to be honest, uh, because for many other national teams you did and you would have only needed to add two 
But then I guess the problem was like with Russia that he would have reversed it. So you have white and green here. But I think this would have added to the jersey. I would not necessarily have done it here on the side. Although you could have gone also the French route. Uh, you know, you have the red uh, here. Uh, red, white, yeah, you could, you, you, could, you could have put the green band in there to make it overly flaggy if you would like. But I'm fine the way it is. As I said, if I would have changed anything here is to make this a little bit wider. wider. We also have here the really beautiful coat of arms of Hungary. This I absolutely love. I love the detail that, that it is put in there. You have St. Stephen's crown uh, in there as well. And of course the crown has a little bent cross, which funny backpacks are the real St. Stephen's crown ha also has that. And the story goes is uh, crowns are usually stored in boxes. Yeah, to keep safe. Someone yanked the box before taking the cross off. And that's where the cross is slanted. So absolutely love that part. But I have, have, to, have to say, this heavy stitching uh, on there, you know, it's, it's really, really, really thick. This is what I love about national team jerseys uh, a whole lot. This is really well done. Um, of course, this is, I, th I think this actually is re re representative of Budapest. This is kind of uh, Buddha with the mountain and, and then Pest. That kind of became Hungary. Hmm. That's that's a little a little bit odd, but you know, whatever it is. Uh, what is also odd is that the Hungarian Federation crest on the other side more or less does the same thing, albeit in a circle and adding a football. Now, this is how you add a football. The Hungarian Football Federation goes back, as you see, 1901. So for an old style like this, you put an old style ball and it actually looks really, really nice. And I think for most European slash South American nations that have a long history, if you want to put a ball in, in, in a crest, do it this way. Not like Austria did it last year and with a modern abomination and then puts uh, a modern soccer ball in there. Does not make any sense. So uh, this is very well done. The only thing that I don't quite quite understand is um, I think you could have gone with color here. Uh, I understand, yeah, uh, to balance it out. But, you know, if you make this green and this brown, uh, or, or at least the ball brown, I think this might have added to uh, the, 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 the this logo as well. Um, that it doubles up is also, I think I probably, well, I love this one much better. But if this was the main logo, I don't think I would mind that all that much because it kind of, sort of, almost represents the same thing. The crown, though, is special. I have to say so you know maybe put a crown on top of here and we are talking so uh, not necessarily a need for a double logo uh, if you look on the back it is a blank uh, it has this very weird shoulders that Adidas had for the, uh, the template but you know didn't mind that at all and then it says Magyar Rosak which is of course is Hungarian for Hungary that's the jersey more or less now this jersey was of course worn in qualifying already in the playoffs where Hungary then made it through thanks to oh, over Iceland. I think Soboslai uh, scored there. Soboslai though did not play at the tournament. In the tournament where Hungary was in the group of death with uh, Germany, France and Portugal and acquitted themselves really, really, really well. Almost eliminating Germany in the process, earning a draw and uh, the Hungarian crowds were uh, one of the sensations of the, of, of the tournament, although there were also some undesirable elements in that crowd there as well. It was then also worn in the unsuccessful uh, World Cup qualifying campaign, notably against England as well. But I think looking back at Euro 2020, Budapest is one of those things that you will definitely remember and that jersey. And I think it was also part of one of my favorite jersey matchups during the entire Euros when they played France in the home stadium. That looked really, really, really fine. So yeah, there you go. My first Hungary jersey. A second one is in the works because of course I need an away jersey. So let's see about that, how it will work out. It will all be revealed in due time, probably. Sometime ahead of the Euros, probably a little bit soon. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!